Okay, for this video, we will just have a short recap or a short recall of our previous topic about polynomials. This will be a prerequisite in your topic about polynomial equations and polynomial functions as well. Okay, so here in our first activity is I would like you to identify if the given equation is considered polynomial or not. And I also prepared here a remarks column wherein you are going to put the reason, your restriction, why is it you think that the particular equation is a not polynomial equation. So I would like you to use check mark to indicate your answer. So for number one, so if you want to answer this, for a while, you may pause the video and resume watching if you are ready to check your answer. So for number one, actually it is considered polynomial equation. Because basically, if you are going to recall the definition of polynomial, simply with the emphasis there is just the exponent of the variable must be positive whole numbers including zero. So here as you can see, x cubed plus 8 x squared plus 5 equals 0. So all the exponents of the variables are positive whole numbers. So therefore, it's a polynomial equation. Next, for number 2, yes, it is still a polynomial equation though we do have here 1 fourth. As you can see, 1 fourth there is our constant. So it doesn't matter. Again, based in the definition of polynomial, or polynomial equation, the variable must be a positive whole numbers, not um, considering the the constant itself. Constant is excluded there, or other numerical coefficients. Okay, next for our third example, it is not a polynomial equation. So, since it's a not a polynomial equation, we need to put the reason why. So, our reason is because there is a variable in the denominator. So, what's the matter if the, the variable is in the denominator? So, basically, if you are going to recall the idea of a variable, why is it a variable is in the denominator, a written in fraction, what's the concept behind so basically the concept behind is if the variable is written in the denominator as if it is in a fraction form then that means that basically the exponent of that variable is negative originally so that is why it is not a polynomial equation okay so for next number four it is not a polynomial equation as well. Why? Because there is a variable inside the radical sign. So, here in our fourth example, if you are going to go back as well with the basic idea or the concept behind this one, if the variable is inside the radical sign, for example, this one square root of x, basically, originally, the concept behind that is that variable or that term can be written as x raised to one half that is equal to x raised to one half so that means the exponent is fraction if you're going to rewrite square root of x basically that is x raised to one half and therefore that is not considered a polynomial already because the exponent is a fraction if it is if the variable is inside the rest. Okay, next, for number 4, it is not a polynomial equation as well. Why? Because, basically, um, going back in our definition of polynomials or polynomial equation, there is a negative exponent. x raised to the 4th power minus 7x raised to negative 2 plus 5 equals 0. So, the second term there is raised to negative, the variable is raised to this. Uh, I mean, the variable is raised to negative 2. So, that is why it is not a polynomial equation. So, I do hope 
after watching or after doing this activity, you can now answer the following question. How will you know if the equation is a polynomial or not? And second one is, what are the restrictions in determining if the given equation is a polynomial? So, if you are asked to give some restrictions in determining the if the equation is a polynomial or not, you may use the idea here in our remarks. Okay, so I intentionally put here the remarks column so that we will be guided or reminded of of the restrictions or the reasons why a particular expression equation is not considered a polynomial okay so for our next activity another recall so i would like you to recall on writing uh, i mean rewriting the expression or the equation or the function in descending order so how will you rewrite in descending order of course you are going to consider the degree of each term in the given polynomial or in the given expression or in the given equation to rewrite this property okay so how about degree of polynomial so here in the degree of the polynomial you just simply look at the highest exponent used in the given expression or in the given equation. So, how about polynomial function? So, you identify what kind of polynomial function is this. Is it linear, quadratic, cubic, partic, and so on. So, for the leading numerical coefficient, this is the numerical coefficient of the first term of the given polynomial or expression. So, take note, if you are going to identify the leading numerical coefficient, make sure that the given expression or polynomial is already arranged in descending order. And lastly, for constant, this is the term which do not have any variable. Okay, so let's start. So, in rewriting, in descending order, the first one. So, of course, we are supposed to write 8x cubed first plus x squared plus 5x minus 1. Okay, so what is the degree of this polynomial? Looking at the highest exponent used in this equation or function. So as you can see, we do have here the highest degree or the highest exponent use is 3. So basically, the degree is third. This polynomial equation or polynomial function, I mean, so it's considered in third degree polynomial. Okay, next. So since it's a third degree polynomial function, it is called as cubic function okay and let's check again what's the leading coefficient based here in our rewrite order already so in descending order already so the leading numerical coefficient is the numerical coefficient in the first term so you consider and look at the second column because this is the column we're in the equation or the function is already arranged properly so the leading numerical coefficient is 8 okay and lastly the constant the term which doesn't have any variable so negative 1 so you take note you really need to indicate or attach the the operation before that term and that would be serve as the sign already of the term so since it's minus one therefore it will be negative one for the constant okay so for our next example i will be um, directly giving the answers already without explaining anymore so for writing the same order so this will be our answer and for the degree of polynomial the highest degree there is four so that means Fourth degree polynomial and since it's fourth degree polynomial it's called quartic and for leading numerical coefficient we have 
two, and for the constant, we have positive 7. Okay, and for our third example, so it is written as 2x squared plus x minus 10. So the degree based on the highest exponent here, so it's 2, so that means it's in second degree polynomial. Okay, and next, since it's second degree polynomial, so it is called as quadratic polynomial function. Quadratic function. Okay, next, the leading numerical coefficient is 2, and the constant is negative 10. Okay. Next to that, the last item, so as you can see, we have P of X equals 5x plus 4. Uh, by the way, I would like you to um, remember how to read this one. Huh? The, the function, it should be P of X equals 5x plus 4. Okay, so the degree of this, as you can see, the highest degree or the highest exponent is 1 only. So that means the degree of the polynomial is first. And for polynomial functions, since it's first degree polynomial, therefore it is called linear function. Okay, and for the leading numerical coefficient, of course we have 5. And for the constant, we have positive 4. Okay, so we're done with the second recall activity. So that's all for this video. I hope you learned about the recall on polynomials. So thanks so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe now.